Hello everyone and welcome to another What Sold Saturday. So, this is going up a little later than I usually like to and that's for a number of reasons. I went to Walmart this morning to get a video game thing because it was like a super good deal and I need it and left with four plants. <laughs> not, the, not the video game thing, just plants and then I put them in potters or pots and put dirt in and all that stuff. So that's excuse number one. That took me a little while. Two is that I actually sold like a good amount this week and a lot of them, well not like a lot of them, but like there were quite a few bundles, which is awesome because I like never get bundles until this week. And three of them went to the same person. So that is crazy. She is now my favorite customer and I wish I had a real store so I could like put a picture of her up on the wall and be like a number one customer but let's just jump into it because there is a decent amount so let me scoot over to give room so number one is this cache geometric print bodycon dress that sold for 37 which gave me 29.60 I sold these misguided star stud black ankle boots for 33, which gave me 26.40. I sold this J Crew men's button popover double faced top for 22, which gave me 17.60. This We the Free reckless scorpion thermal crop top. Now this I bought and listed right when I got home from the thrift store and then it sold I think in under 30 minutes. So that was a good grab. Again, vintage free people, still good. I sold this Lululemon mesh with me navel blue tank for 25. Um, that gave me 20. With Lululemon I always start tank tops at a price of about 36 and then when people like it I offer them 30 and I usually will end up accepting 25 as my lease and so a lot of my Lulu actually sells for 25 tank tops. I sold this free people that's a wrap button up um, that sold for 25 which gave me 20. Free people's kind of like Lulu where it's like the same price window. I sold this North Face Dome Brown Hoodie for $36, which gave me $27.30. This I got from the bins, and it was brand new. It didn't have tags, but you could, like, clearly tell that it was brand new. It was, like, folded and super soft. There were no marks, stains, creases, any Like, clearly it was new without tag. I sold this Lululemon Wonder Under Pant Luan Spray leggings. Um, those sold for 50 and that gave me 40 So the leggings are worth paying up for because they sell for more. Um, so first bundle. It was a bundle of this North Face Sun Zipper thing and these ASOS Fruit Lemon shoes this Madewell gray and black button cardigan, this Wild Fox grocery list blue sweater, and this Anthro Postmark lace white top. And those sold for 118, which gave me 94.40. So the price, I believe, was 199 if she would have paid out for all of them, paid what I had them listed for. And then I offered her, I think, 150 and then she countered like 100 or something. I'm, I can't... No, I offered her like 130 I don't know. Somehow we met at 118 And that is from my favorite customer. <laughs> I sold this Kate Spade brown shoulder leather tote for 60 which gave me 48 And this Coach Rare... Polar Bear Zipper Coin Purse for 35 which gave me 28 This Lululemon Dancing Warrior Tank for 30 which gave me 22 50 
this patent leather Arcadia Cream Weekender, which was a biatch to ship because it just, it was not easy to ship. I had to go buy this, like, huge box and, like, get it in. It was, ugh. That sold for 42 which gave me 3360 I had just got that at Savers, like, a week ago. Um, I sold this Adidas Originals Farm Pattern Tee for 55 which gave me 44 Adidas Originals sells higher than Adidas, so if you find Adidas Originals, either give it to me, that's the best idea, or grab it. I sold this Anthropology Cartonnier Burkade Charlie Trousers for 36 which gave me 27.30. That one was funny because I was just going through my email printing out labels and I had never even seen the notification that that sold and suddenly I like saw the email and was like, hmm, I'll take it. I sold this Ivanka Trump pink cutout clutch for 22 and made 17.60 profit. And this Marc Jacobs small glossy black makeup holding clutch thing that sold for ten, which gave me seven oh five. It was a gift with purchase, so whatever. Um, another bundle. This one sold for sixty five, and it is three things. It is this Athleta pink purple pattern tank. This Anthropology one September top and this soft surroundings floral brown button up and so i profited 52. i sold this vineyard vines checkered classic tucker shirt for 35 which gave me 28. i sold this sundance gray cashmere sweater for 40 which gave me 32. i sold this new with tag free people dawn to dusk kind of like flare very wide leg denim jeans for 45 which gave me 36 this Bowden linen purple tank top for 30 which gave me 24 this Kate Spade large polka dot canvas tote that I was really trying to get rid of sold for 52 which gave me 4010 this B. Mikowski leather black hobo studded bag for 30 which gave me $22.50. These Joe's jeans cut off distress jean shorts for 34 which gave me $27.20. Another bundle, this was to my favorite customer. It was this Franco Sardo faux leather black white flower tote. This Anthro 1 September sequin top. This other Anthro top that was called like the time lapse top or something. This purple and peach Madewell color block sweatshirt. This chambray sleeveless theory camisole. This Athleta neon red twist half zip. And this Sundance Velvet Ruched Sleeve Shirt. Now, this was my biggest bundle I've ever done by far. Um, my second biggest was to the same lady this week, and it was five things, which we already went over that one, I believe, I think. So all of those sold for 170 which gave me $136. Um, I do not remember what the, like value was. I think it was over 300 something. I don't remember. I sold right after that a bundle to the same amazing woman of this sundry Hello Sun tank top, this vintage Ted Baker Trouble yellow t-shirt, this J Crew Kiss collector's tee, and this Vans off the wall red graphic tee and all of that sold for 80 which then gave me 64. and that was the last sale of this week well last night i have had two this morning but those will be in next week's what sold saturday so yeah good week i am 
happy that this lady is supporting me so much. It really means a lot because this is like what I'm living off of is my Poshmark now. So that's awesome. I hope you guys like this video. On Tuesday, I am going to have a haul of a bunch of awesome things that I found in this past week. And on Thursday, I might have a real, real update for you. I believe they have received my things and will be listing them this week. So maybe I will like show you the listings or something like that. See what they priced it at. Tell you if I'm like happy with that or not. But yeah, we'll see what I decide to do for Thursday. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like and leave a comment on how you did for sales this week. What was your biggest sale of the week? And yeah, thanks. Bye.